Hello, good morning. My name is Laura Boylan. I'm going to present my uh, proposal for a preceptor mentoring program. Um, first uh, is introducing myself. I am a nurse at Franklin County Home Health. Um, through the years I've spent there, I've noticed some things that um, can have really simple improvements and I'm hoping that this um, PowerPoint can show you what I mean. Um, so here's our, my first slide, Nursing Preceptor Program. Um, and it's me, by me, Laura Boylan. And getting right into it, um, I feel like uh, nursing, we can really lead the pack. Um, and I've designed this program to provide a solution to some of the problems that we can see in healthcare now. Some of the dips in uh, nursing burnout, uh, nursing turnover, trying to streamline everything we do as nurses. And um, the why is because of the undue stress for our employees, uh, the additional stress on existing employees, and the subadequate teaching and mentoring. This is from um, just the new graduates that we usually get out of school, giving them a streamlined process, just one way to really understand the concept of home health nursing, put it into action and really understand why we're there, you know, caring for the patient. Um, so I think that there is really a big need for improvement. Uh, just for example, there's been 12 new hires within the past three months, just at home health. There's five that had left within the introductory period. So they didn't even get past the three months of learning what to do, um, and, and I just feel like it's time for a change. Um, it can be stressful, and I think that's a big contributor to the nurses and how they're not making it past the introductory period because, you know, maybe there's some things that we can really streamline, bring resources all into one area for them, make it not so stressful. Um, I recently took a two-month survey among the nurses at Franklin County, um, and as you can tell in the table of the 50 nurses that uh, in, in March, there was a high percentage that actually felt like the environment that we are working in is very over-emotional, and that can lead to us not really grasping the concept and streamlining what we really need to to get the work done and actually enjoy our jobs. And then in April, I took that survey again, and this time it was even higher, um, hoping that it wasn't the case, but I do know that the burnout being so high, I wasn't really that surprised. And another reason would be like the wound dressings. Um, for example, uh, it can be done in so many different ways, wrapping a leg with Curlex or with paper tape and a gauze. Um, both ways are right. And I think that for a regular nurse going in to seeing somebody that you usually don't see, it can be very stressful. And um, I can't even imagine being a new employee again and how confusing it would be. Um, I think that bringing all of these concepts into one area, having everybody be able to use these resources, making the environment better, making everything easier to understand, I think we would all benefit. So I think the materials that we uh, could definitely use would be some of the things that I have my on my phone right now, like the Nursing Central app. I use that daily um, for like medications, uh, what goes with certain medications, especially when I am um, updating a medication list and they're saying that they're having side effects to some things. Well. You can't know the side effects to every medication. On top of that, they want to know their recent lab values. So having a lab value guide, maybe a Tabor's dictionary, maybe if there's a question on, hey, what kind of wound should I really stage this at? Just things like that. And then we can also pull in videos online of procedures um, through nursing school I use simple nursing videos uh, with Mike Mike uh, I believe it's Larner Lars 
something of that sort. But he's very excellent, uh, very um, motivational in that sense. Uh, registered nurse RN videos. Um, she has an accent, so she's kind of quite funny to listen to. And on top of it, I think bringing all of this into one area and having it at your fingertips and showing somebody where they can find the information and where they can find it fast can really help. The equipment that we would use, uh, the cost would really be low. Uh, all the wound care supplies for brushing up on skills, we would use all expired supplies. Um, so it would virtually be no cost to the facility. Uh, brushing up on vital signs and accuracy checks. We'd have the nurses bring in their equipment they use on the field. We could check it and make sure everything's good, everything's working right. And then maybe they have a, a question on how to really get an apical pulse. What is the most accurate way? Having that one person that can really help you streamline things, find what you need to know, or help in your decision making can really help uh, the whole facility as a whole. And then talking about budget, we would virtually need no additional money for the wound care supplies, the vital sign equipment, the IV systems. We usually store the IV systems at the facility anyway, so it would be reloading, locating them to the specific area we could use them when they're being stored. And then having the online resources, the ebooks, the hard copy books that we already have within the facility, bring it into one central area. And then I think the only part that would actually be, that would require money would be the part-time employee that would help me as the full-time uh, person that's going to run everything. Um, so that would be a little chunk annually just to pay that part-time employee. So I feel like we're the one home health agency in Franklin County. We're just that one. So I feel like we should really own it. We should work as a team. We should know the skills, have the knowledge, work as a team, you know, and all that takes work. And um, we need to provide the resources and watch the staff blossom. So it's up to you to make the change with little cost and a huge return. It can be a great asset to the company. There are 50 nurses at Franklin County Home Health um, that can really use this help. Any questions?